I'm an average, everyday American guy who took a risk. I am Greg Sims. I'm a husband and father of two boys, and I just turned 40. After 20 years at the same job, I was fired. So we sold everything, I followed my passion for food and went to culinary school, and ended up 5,000 miles from home in the Italian countryside. Everybody is looking at me like <laughs> I'm the green giant. Buongiorno. I live in that one right there. This is where I worked, Gusto Alborgo. It's a farm, restaurant, and cooking school. While I was there, I did just about every job imaginable and happily ate my way through it all. The best. And now we munch, eh? One bite. This is the bruschetta topping. That looks like spaghetti to me. It's what? Bucatini. Because they have a buco, a hole in the middle. They smell like somebody's socks sitting up here. Pig cheek focaccia. There it is. When the focaccia is ready, it goes right on the tractor. <laughs> My cooking, traveling, and training in Italy have come to an end. White truffles, 1,000 euros per kilo. Yeah. Wow, it's a lot. That's why he's here. He's guarding the truffles. This place changed my life, but I have no idea where this is going to go. <laughs> you know, um, somebody told me once that faith is spelled R-I-S-K. This is the best part right here. And there's no down. success without risk. I feel this is a gigantic risk that I've done here and not knowing where this is going to lead. It's time to go back home and find a job. Okay, ciao. Of course, I already consider myself a good cook, but I've got to convince the rest of the food world that I'm a chef. On the road to becoming a chef, there are a lot of food jobs out there, and I plan to do as many as I can. You guys are making the cheese down there. I may take a job as an octopus butcher. There it is, the beak. I'll work concessions at a state fair. Right. I'll cook like a caveman. I'll check in on free-range chickens. One of you going to get it next week. Chicken killer's coming. What about working a shawarma stand and at a shawarma factory just so I can find out how they get that much meat on a stick? I'll make cheese, hot dogs, donuts. It's every dirty food job known or yet to be discovered. I'm gonna work my way up from the bottom until I earn the right to be called chef. Until then, sue me.